Hi, this is Gali Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you are feeling motivated because today our quote of the day is, in my experience, there is only one motivation and that is desire. No reasons or principle contain it or stand against it by Jane Smiley. This quote is so true. You can never be motivated to do something when your cup is full in that area of life. You need to have a real desire. When our needs are satisfied, we are not motivated to do very much. Only those unsatisfied needs push us to move forward. However, there are some motivators that will lead to a life of happiness and uh, other motivators that will lead to a life of unhappiness. Although all motivation comes from unsatisfied needs, there are two groups of motivators that move us to push forward. Some of these motivators are positive on our psyche and others are negative on our psyche. Negative motivators come from a lack and positive uh, motivators come from a choice, a willingness. Negative motivators come from a lack, a lack of money, a lack of a new car, a lack of uh, certain clothing, a lack of the right partner, or a lack of uh, uh, the right house, uh, or not being healthy, or not being at the right weight. This motivation comes from you seeing something in your life that is missing. You see that your life is not complete as it is without this thing. You are not whole without this thing, therefore you cannot be happy. Most people motivate themselves from this kind of lack mindset. A mindset that says that I cannot be fully alive now because I have these things that are missing from my life. I cannot fully enjoy my experience on earth because my life is not complete because I have these things missing. Negative motivators will always make you feel bad because you see yourself as broken right now, as not complete. Examples of these motivators include, I need to lose 10 pounds, I need to travel, um, I, have, I need to be fitter, uh, I need a bigger house, a better car, I need to heal from this uh, disease or situation, I need a partner, or I need a different partner. All of these things are stating to your subconscious mind that without them, you are not whole and not complete, and therefore you cannot be happy. You are basically saying to yourself that you do not have enough. And this type of mindset is actually like a bull rolling downhill, because even once you do lose the 10 pounds, you do get the better car, the new partner, the bigger house, and you have healed from the disease, you will still not be satisfied because the lack never ends. It just grows into lack of something else. There will always be something lacking in your life with this type of mindset. On the other hand, positive motivators come from a choice, a willingness, a choice to live life to our full potential, a, winning, a willingness to make a difference, a choice uh, uh, to make things better, not because they are not good right now, but because we can make them better. Positive motivation comes from an understanding that life is perfect and we have everything within us to allow the love, abundance, and happiness that is already there within us to come through. Perfection is already within us. We are complete. All we have to do is to allow this perfection uh, and this love to come through without blocking it. We are full of love, we are full of abundant energy, happiness and power, but we are blocking them from coming out and showing themselves to the world. Positive motivation comes from choosing to improve on what is there before us simply because we can. That simple. Because it is there waiting for us to show it in a different way or better light or to improve it. This type of motivation is one of revealing what can be instead of continuing to block the energy, power, love, and abundance that we have within us that wants to show itself to the world. Positive motivation comes from a will to give love and to serve others and to improve what is good and make it better. This type of motivation does not come so that we can inflate our ego or inflate our bank accounts or um, 
look better in the eyes of other people, but rather from a place of giving and serving and loving others. We all have it within us. It's not something that we have to find and, and then maybe we won't find it. No, it is already there within us. All we have to do is reveal it. And this kind of motivator is within, is within every single one of us. We, we want to give and serve and, and love, so we are motivated to do something about it, not because we have a lack. Now, some people use drugs or addic addictive behaviors to block their light. Um, other people become depressed because they do not believe or remember that they have this light within them because they have gone so long in darkness. Now, some people are anxious because they have forgotten the, uh, this power that they have within them to overcome whatever life throws at them. Positive motivation comes from an understanding that what we see before us can be improved, not because there is something lacking, but simply because we have the ability within us to make it better. Let's take, for example, the smartphone. The smartphone was invented, but life was good beforehand, right? No, nobody even thought about, well, some people did, but most people did not even think about this possibility of having a computer in our hands. But those people who invented it thought that this could be improved. We can be more connected. We can have a computer within the hands of everyone. It did not come from a place of lack. I lack of a computer in my hand right now. No, it came from a place of I can, I can, I could have a computer in my hands right now. Let's figure out how to do it. These invent, inventions came from a motivator of what could be better, not from a viewpoint that something is missing right now. So if you look at the simple examples that I mentioned before, let's take weight loss. A positive motivation for losing weight would be I could be healthier and move myself more easily as I did when I was young so that I can have the energy to go out after my dreams. On the other hand, a negative motivation of lack would be I need to lose 10 pounds, I am overweight, I'm not good enough now. Or let's say money. A positive motivation for making more money would be I would like to add more value to other people in the world by using my gifts. On the other hand, negative motivation of lack would be, I, I don't have enough money, I need to make more money so that I can fulfill my needs. I don't have enough. Or let's say relationships. A positive motivation for being in a great or better relationship would be that I want an outlet to give my love and acceptance and understanding that I have within me, waiting to come out, to give it to someone and to enjoy the perfection of life together. On the other hand, a negative motivation would be uh, that I need to get married so that I can have children, that I am not uh, whole and complete as I am at this moment. Or let's say healing. A positive motivation for healing would be that I want to live uh, well and long, a good and long life so that I can give back to the world the wonderful gifts that I have. On the other hand, a negative motivation of lack would be that I want my health back, I don't want to die. In positive motivation, we wish to reach our true potential so that we can be happier by also making other people happier in the process. In negative motivation, we wish to fix what we see as broken and not good within us so that we can be okay. I'm sure by now you understand how the results of these two types of motivators will be completely different. So, as always, I will end this video with a question that you want to ask yourself so that you can move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, why do I want the things that I desire? Is it because I feel that I have a lack of some sort? Or is it because I want to give off my gifts to an already perfect world to reach higher potential? As usual, I recommend writing this question and your answer in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them and uh, improve your life. Make sure you're on the right track and make sure that you have the right motivation to change your life for the better. Okay, the, and so let's finish this video off with the affirmation of the day, which is, I am complete as I am, but I am motivated to unfold a higher life potential every day. I am complete as I am, 
but I am motivated to unfold a higher potential, a higher life potential every day. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition and affirmation has the power to completely transform your life for the better. So I hope you liked this video. If, uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content. Ring the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a new video. And please visit my website, thegorillodiet.com, to help you reach the health and wellness that you deserve and desire. Thank you very much for joining me.